Hello, welcome to the Recession Project by Christy Donovan and Justin. Let's get started. First off, economic. Adjustable rate mortgages were mortgages that had interest rates that were never flat rate. They would always be able to be moved. For example, they would be set at 1% or a lower interest rate so that people would buy these mortgages, but were then later be changed to 5% so that the banks would make money because inflation over time is about 3%. Next is credit default swaps. Credit default swaps were an idea of you being able to bet on someone's mortgage or loan that was not your own so that you could make money. So if the person did not pay the loan or went bankrupt, you were able to make money. Next, to make this even worse, they were even put together into a collateralized debt obligation. Loans were, and they'd be set at AAA, AA, A. A minus and B. Mainly, most of them were set at triple A or double A to show that they were a really good idea to buy these loans. Next, derivatives. Banks would only bet on loans on both sides. They didn't care as long as they made money in the short run. Next, shortage of demand. People would lose jobs and money, and they would then lose income so that they couldn't buy anything they wanted or needed. And then this would continue down in the spiral, so if people couldn't pay for what they needed, people would lose jobs because they didn't have enough of a demand. Then they would lose their jobs and money, and they couldn't get what they needed, so it would continue down, down, and down, lower and lower, and that way, and it's very hard to stop. Next, social. Um, people only care about the short run of the money. They want to get the money as soon as they can and get out. Um, many executives did this. They don't really care if their business lasted as long as it was in the long run. Um, the idea of everyone should own a house. The downfall of the housing market, um, people were losing their homes due to the fact that they couldn't pay for them anymore. HUD or HUD proposed the idea for open development and eliminate inherent investment risk or the short run needs to be eliminated they just need to want to make money now even even if it hurts other people uh, people losing their homes or ARM political investment modernization act or the last law that was passed by Clinton and Congress it was illegal it was legal to buy bets on stock was being repealed or the bucket shop law um, Republicans did not do anything to change this. They just continued on. Next was the first bailout or the Trolled Asset Relief Program. It was the one to help AIG from going bankrupt. Originally, most of the money that was for credit default swaps went to Goldman Sachs. The second bailout went to save GM and save trouble mortgages. This cost averaged about $30 billion. What should government do? They should put back the bucket shop law. They should also clean out the federal people who are in charge of the Federal Reserve and get regulators who are actually unbiased and would actually do their job. And they would also need to be watched over to make sure that they did what they were supposed to do. Businesses need to tie their pensions to the company so that they will be in there for the long run and not the short run. They would also need to show quarter financial reports to show that they're actually not lying about how much they are actually making. Public. Public should be informed about what the government's or government is doing and making sure that the corporation is doing well. Here are some extra ideas that can help solve the recession. Make sure that banks hold on to the loans so that they care for a little bit, at least a minimum of five to ten years. Elect officials that are not in investment banks. And make sure that the president has 24-7 updates on the finances.